So that was great. But I want to get into this word today. We're on the theme, the same theme, escalate. And y'all know how I am. I like to drill it, drill it until we get it and start walking in it. So let me just say a word of prayer really quickly. Um, Father, we thank you right now in the mighty master's name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, we bless you for all that you are, all that you do, God. We thank you right now, God, for just giving us another opportunity, oh God, to come before your presence with thanksgiving, oh God. We bless you. We thank you. Lord, we ask you right now to just give us a prophetic word, a, a word that would increase us and enhance uh, the, the and glorify you, oh God, in the, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask you right now that we would all be attentive, even though we're at home, Lord, that we would be focused on the word, oh God, that we would hear what you're saying to the church in this time, oh God, that we're facing in this world, oh God. God, give us the word we need. Give us the energy we need, oh God. Give, give us the enthusiasm that we need to move forward and do the things that you have assigned for us to do, oh God. And Lord, we just thank and praise you in Jesus' name, amen. I decrease, you increase. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Do me a favor. Just put your hands together in the window on the side. Just give God a praise. Just give God a 30 second praise where you're at right now. Just give him a praise. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy of your praise. He's worthy. I say he's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He is worthy of all the praise and all the glory and all the honor. Hallelujah and hallelujah. We serve a God that is. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless your name, oh God. We lift you up, oh God. We magnify you right now, God. You're worthy, God. You're wonderful, God. Hallelujah. Just give God a hallelujah praise. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. We lift you up. We magnify you. There is none like you, oh God. We thank you for another opportunity. We thank you for another day's journey. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No weapon formed against us will ever prosper, oh God. Lord, we bless your name. We lift you up. We may, I want to stir somebody up on this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We serve an awesome God. Oh, yes, we do. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. It's time for us to go up and in. I just want to know a theme. We're in a series. We're going to be doing a series for right now. And the theme is Escalate. That's the series theme right there. Escalate, escalate. We still, I'm still there. And like y'all know when I spoke on last week, I talked about game changers. I talked about uh, uh, dealing with this, being in the game and the rules change. Hallelujah. And it's shift. And, and, and are you able to shift with the things that are changed in the atmosphere? It's not like the way it was back in the day. Hallelujah. We got to learn how to be a game changer. And then, uh, uh, and the Lord just been dealing with me about escalating, escalating, causing the body of Christ to come up and in, go in, enter in, enter in at his throne, at his feet, get in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm so excited. So God been dealing with me today. Oh my God. I'm going to read this one scripture and then I'll tell you how God's just been dealing with me just this morning, just today. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you right now, Lord. I, oh, God, I thank you. So the scripture reading comes from Romans, the first chapter, verse 17. Romans, the first chapter, verse 17. I'll give you an opportunity to look for it while I just talk for a few minutes. Romans, the first chapter, verse 17. I thank God that it, oh, God, that he just continues to give us uh, what we need to maintain on a day-to-day -day basis. God, you 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 didn't maintain yourself. God maintained you. You didn't keep your own mind. God kept it for you. Hallelujah. For this particular time as this. Romans, the first chapter, the 17th verse. I'm going to read this and I'm going to tell you what the Lord kind of gave me on this. Oh, God, I thank you right now. Mm, 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 mm. Got to go look that up. Um. The scripture says, this good news, I'm reading a new uh, living translation. It says, this good news tells us how God makes us right in his sight. Come on here, somebody. This is accomplished from the start to finish by faith, as scriptures says. It is through faith 
that we have this person have have this personal lifestyle. I want to read another scripture. So it's through our faith. You already know it's through your faith. And it's by faith. And he starts the faith. He's the engine to the faith. He's the ignition to the faith. He gives, he gives us the faith. Amen. It's through faith that we have this person has life. Yeah. Um, 2 Timothy 1 and 7. 2 Timothy 1 and 7. I'm going to read this and then I'm going to move on forward. For God has not given us the spirit of fear or timidity, mm -hmm. but of power and love and a sound mm -hmm. mind. Power, love, and a sound mind. Oh, Lord. I have one more scripture I'm going to read for you, and then I'll go on into our topic. Ephesians 1, 19, and 22, and then I'll read something else in a little bit. 1, verses 19 through 22, Ephesians. Follow me. Write it down. I'm reading a New Living Translation. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe in him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in, heaven, in the heavenly realms. Oh, my God. Now he is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or any else, not only in this world, but in the world to come. God has put all things under the authority of Jesus Christ and has made him head over all things for benefit of the church. <laughs> And from that particular topic, I really want to focus on uh, Ephesians. I, I want you to do me a favor. Type it in the sidebar. Look at your neighbor. High five yourself. Whatever you got to do. And say, I am, I am. Powered, powered by God. <laughs> Y'all ain't saying that to me right there. Holly, I am God. powered by God. Now, I had looked up something and I don't know if I still have it. I'm going to look and see if I can find it. But I had looked up something that was really interesting to me. I wanted to read uh, the definition. I don't know if I have it up here or not still. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Yes, here it is. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see if I can find this. The difference between being powered by God and being empowered and being being being, uh, being sponsored, being empowered, and by being sponsored, I wanted to read those two things to you really, really quickly. Amen. For your hearing, so sponsored by. So we all know that there's a sponsor by, and then there's a power by. If you always see some kind of something on, and it'll come on and say powered by or what have you, that kind of stuck out to me. Well, sponsored by is used when a company gives somebody money. And the person receiving the money advertises the company in return. So being sponsored means you're going to just give me this money and I'm going to mention your name and what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, I wish I could get that. For an example, uh, if there is a, is a program on TV, then the company paying the money to program in return of advertising their product. Okay. Oh God, Lord, you might see people or hear people that's on the radio or or, or doing the commercial saying that. Well, I, they did this. They did this commercial, and they said, "Well, I just had to pay the bills." Right. Okay. So they mentioned them. Now, whereas powered by means that the, that a company is advertising their product. Oh my God, in a particular event, and also company is providing their product to be used in that event. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing to me right now. Hallelujah. Yeah. Generally, when an amount is given by the companies is a higher than a powered by is used. Uh -huh. Generally, I'm going to read that again. When an amount given by companies is higher than the power by, by, by is used. Then a powered by is used. So in other words, let me give you another example. Lord have mercy. 
we all watch reality shows. And this is, I'm reading this from, I pulled this up from the internet. And in that reality show company pays money to advertise their product. And also the company product is used in that show. So they're going to use, okay. So in other words, Coca-Cola. Is paying for the commercial. Oh, y'all yeah, ain't saying nothing to me. And at the table, while they're doing the TV show, they drinking some Coca-Cola. Hey, man. They using that same thing that's power now. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me right here. And so then it goes on to say, generally, we can see mobile companies pay for advertisement and mobiles are used. So in other words, if it's being powered by uh, Cadillac, for instance, then they're driving a Cadillac in the movie or in the commercial or in, or in, the, in the show. So how oh, that takes me back to the difference between being sponsored, where I just let you use some money and you mentioned my company. Oh, I just give you, that's the difference of getting God's hand and getting his heart. Oh, Y'all ain't what? saying nothing to me right Come there. On, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, it's tight, but it's right right here. It's a different from just getting the blessings from God than it just being having a heart, being in a, having a heart after God. Come on here, somebody. Like David had a heart after God. He was seeking after God. He was passionate towards God. All right. So in Ephesians, it really messed me up. It says here, I wanted to just give you a, 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 a look at being powered by. Look at your name and say, who are you powered by? Oh my God. It says, I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for, for us who believe. If you believe, you understand the greatness. I know you say you're saved. I know you say you're his, but do you know about the greatness of God's power? Do you understand how powerful God is? Oh my God. It says, this is the same mighty power. Hallelujah. That raised Christ from the dead. That power is so great that it raised Christ up from the dead. Hallelujah. And not only that, the show was not over. He <laughs> raised him up. Hallelujah. And then seated him in the right hand. Hallelujah. And it allowed him to keep that same power. Somebody say the same power. <laughs> I'm powered by God. Oh, my God. What is it that makes you keep going? What is it that makes you keep believing? What is it that makes you keep striving? What is it that wakes you up in a midnight hour? What is it that caused you to pray and pray and pray? What is it that caused you to fast and deny your own body? What is it that's keeping you the power of God? I'm glad you asked that question. It's the power of God that keep you believing God, that he can raise up your family, that he can raise up your son, that he can raise up your daughter. It's the power of God. Come on here, y'all. Woo! Lord, I thank you right now. Hallelujah. Mm. Not only that, can I help somebody today? That same power, hallelujah, at the end it says that you can, in, in the revelation, it says that you have the right to sit at the seat on his lap. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm getting excited about that. I didn't pull that scripture up, but it just hit me right there to let me know that if I just do his will, if I just keep the faith, then I can sit with the Lord. I can sit in his lap. He can hold me in the midnight hour. Hallelujah. Woo. Now, 21 says, now he is far above any ruler or authority power or leader or any other else that is in the world and also the world to come. I don't care how much power a person have in the United States. The presidents have quote unquote the most power. But let me tell you a little secret. His power cannot match the power of God. His hands are too short to box with God. Hallelujah. There is nothing that he, he can do things in the world, but the world is God and he holds it in the palm of his own hand. Hallelujah. He looks at the universe and the stars and the heaven. Oh, come on here, somebody. I'm talking about who you're powered by, right. who empowers you. He keeps you going. Hallelujah. Right. When you want to give up. I know I'm talking to somebody that had a time in their life where they really wanted to throw in the towel, where you really wanted to give up. And you didn't even understand why God still cared. You didn't even, you didn't even understand how you was continue to move forward. It was a power, the thing that was empowering you on the inside. It's like a, a, a ever 
ready, but what's that battery? That energizer button. That battery that just keep going and going and going and going and going. It's something on the inside. You got to be tapped into the source of the power of God. Come on, give God some praises. Come on, give him a praise. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Come on, I'm give you a three second chance to just give your power some praise. Hallelujah. Mm, glory to God. It says 22. Oh, so that means the power that's in the world. And it says, or to come. Oh, this in this world or to come. The power that you're activated by is greater than all of that. Oh my God, Lord, I just come to tell you what's going on on the inside of you. To help you understand how you dealing with what you're dealing with. Or how you dealt with what you dealt with. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Or how you going to deal with what you going to deal with. <laughs> how you going to get through. Hallelujah. It's going to be the power of God. Somebody type that on the inside. I'm powered by God. Oh, my God. And some of y'all might say, I don't know, no God. Ain't. Oh, yes, the word says it. Hallelujah. I'm going to go deeper. Hallelujah. It says, God has put all things under the authority of Christ. Somebody ought to give God some praises for Christ. Hallelujah. And has made him head over all things for the benefit of what? The church. Uh, right. You are the church. Uh, mm, that power that he got, oh God, that he gave Christ over. Um, and, God, and Christ was the one that came down for us and bled, hum, bled and died for us. Uh, he said that that power, hallelujah, is for your benefit. Come on. Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible says when you say that you're weak, know that you're strong. When I'm weak, I know that I'm strong. It's not me, but it's he that is in me. Hallelujah. That's keeping me. Hallelujah. Oh, you thought it was you. I know. Oh, God. But it ain't you. It's something working on the inside of you. It's something that's keeping you on the inside. It's something that's activating you. The moment you start getting spiritually weak, it rises up on the inside of you. When you didn't think you was going to be able to make it through, God will bring you through. Come on, somebody powered by God. Oh God. Hallelujah. When you get at, when you escalate and get in him and you believe things that you can't see. Oh my God. It does something. It activates that power. Oh, oh turn with me. Journey with me over to Acts. I'm almost done y'all, but journey with me over to Acts. Oh y'all come on, sit down. Come on. Come on. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Y'all sit down. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Powered by God. Hallelujah. Power by God. Y'all better say something to me right here. Power by God. Let me look at here. Hallelujah. Power by God. I, oh, yeah. Power by God. I'm just trying to see her. Hallelujah. Powered by God. How many of you are powered by God? Come on. Are you powered by God? Oh, my goodness. Powered by God. Oh, Jesus, Lord, have mercy. I've been I've been powered by some things that I didn't even know that I was powered by before in my life. It kept me, let me help you with what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. I was empowered by crack before. Come on, y'all ain't saying nothing to me right there. Hallelujah. And it made me do things that I could not do. Oh, God. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. But now, hallelujah, I turned my life over to God. I begin to believe in something that I could not see. Oh, my God. It began to work something on the inside of me. Then I turned my life over to that was greater than me. Hallelujah. And then it began to empower me. And so now that it empowered me, I advertise it, y'all. Amen. Right. And when I advertise it, come on here, somebody. Oh, my God. I use it for miracles and signs and wonders. Hallelujah. The power of God does power me. Hallelujah. Rises up in me. And then I'm able to empower somebody else and lay hand on the sick and, and they become healed. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me right now. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 I'm powered by God. Come on here, somebody. Oh, God, it ain't me. It ain't me no more. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Acts 10. Let me go there. Oh, God, I thank you. Hallelujah. The power. Hallelujah. It ain't your voice. It's God's voice on the inside of you that you use it. <laughs> hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. When you're powered by that thing, you, you, it, 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 you're using its name. Oh, God. In the name of Jesus, I command that you be healed. Oh, y'all ain't saying that to me right there. 
empowered by God. Oh, ooh, glory to God. Oh, let me settle down here. Let me sit down. Oh, oh my God. Hallelujah. Thank you. 34th verse says, hmm. Then Peter replied, I see very clearly uh, that God shows no favoritism. Let me let you know. Hallelujah. It ain't no favoritism in this thing. Anybody can get this. Uh, hallelujah. Anybody can have this power that believe. Hallelujah. Okay, let me let me go. Let me clarify. It says, in every nation, he accepts those who fear him and do what is right. You got to have a do right in you. Do you have a do right button? Oh, my God. You know when you have a button to turn stuff on? Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing to me. It says uh, hot, cold, uh, warm, or whatever it is. Uh, it may say uh, you're going up to certain degrees. Uh, in this particular case, it says on. Oh, God, Lord, have mercy. Oh, it, oh God, it says, uh, it says, it says, uh, it says, oh, God, thank you, Lord, right now. Hallelujah. It says, do right, uh, believe, <laughs> uh, power, <laughs> on, <laughs> off. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing to me right now. Hallelujah. You got to have that button turned on. You got to have it turned on to do right. You got to have it turned up. Come on here, somebody, to believe it. Hallelujah. You got to have it turned up to fearing God. Hallelujah. You got to have it turned up. Come on here, somebody, to being on in the name of Jesus. So then he goes on to say, this is the message of good news for people of Israel uh, that there, there is peace with God through Jesus Christ who is Lord of all. You get to have that peace. You get access to that peace. <clears throat> Not only, the, oh, I'm going to go on here. Hallelujah. He says, you know what happened through mm, throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee, after John began preaching his message of baptism? And you know that God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power hallelujah then jesus went throughout doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil for god was with him and so if god was with him he is with you he is with me he is with us as we believe in god god's gonna take you on a higher plane you are empowered by God. God is your lifter up. I just need to know one thing. How fast is your takeoff? Is your takeoff one that goes up like a helicopter? Or is your takeoff is one that moves, moves like a jet? But when you get to a certain altitude, it's flying high and you can go on auto because God begin to use you. God begin to, begin to take over. He begin to take control. You're not powered by your own self right. you're up in the air but god is your wings he's a wing beneath you yeah. he is a wind beneath your wings i know that god is right there with you you are empowered by him now through faith you believe in god you have access to the promise what is the promise i'm glad you asked the promise is the power of god through salvation you can be set free uh, and you can operate uh, with the power that's empowering you uh, you can use that same power to empower somebody else uh, how do you know my severe i'm glad you asked that question because i see people that god have allowed me to empower in the gospel and not only that uh, they only not only got powered but they became great men and women of god they come greater than me but that ain't me it's the power that's backing me. Hallelujah. Come on and give God some praises. Come on and lift God up because he has empowered you. He has lifted you up. You have taken flight. You're going on another dimension, not only escalating, but you're going into the throne of the thrones. You're in the throne room. You're on the threshing floor. You're with the king of kings. You're with the Lord of lords. He's keeping you. He's holding holding you. It's not you, but it's what you're empowered by. Come on and bless the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
what's back of you, what's empowering you, what's keeping you, what lift you up, what wake you up, what make you move, what make you go. It's the power of the Holy Ghost. It's the power of the Holy Ghost. I don't need no music. Jesus is my music. It's the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. It's keeping you and it's keeping you. Hallelujah. Come on and give God some praises. Hallelujah. He's worthy. 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 Hallelujah. It's the power of God that's making you do right when you want to do wrong. Uh, it's the power of God hallelujah. That's holding you up in the midnight hour. Me, it's me, the power me. of God. I know it's the power of God. Hallelujah. 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 It's something to make you want to do right when yeah, you want to do wrong. wrong. Ah, come on now. The power of God. Hallelujah. It's the power of God. Hallelujah. It's the power of God that's using you to lay hands on the sick and the sick recover and they get up and they testify. Come on. The power that's backing you. It's the power of God. Oh, oh it's only hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, come on, now. put your hands together. Yeah. It's, a praise. it's the power of God. Yeah. I don't know Lord. about this power. This power is up on high. This power came down to yeah. two generations. This power became flesh. This power took on sin. This power was buried. It was crucified. Yeah. That power got oh, up power. on the third day. That power got oh, up on the oh, third day. Yeah. And that oh, ain't it. Oh, it wasn't over. It rose up and it went to oh, heaven. Hallelujah. And not yeah, only that, yeah. it went down to hell. And it did some work down there. And it came back with some keys. The power of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come on, give him a praise. Ooh. Hallelujah. Come on, give him a praise. Hallelujah. I'm back by the power. The power. What are you powered by? What are you powered by? Hallelujah. Confess that power of God. Hallelujah. And watch the power do what it do. Come on and give God some praises. Hallelujah. Escalate. Come on, go on in. Come on, tap into that power. Ah, hallelujah. I used to wonder why my husband would lay next to me and be sick almost unto death. And God would use me to pray and lay hands on so many other people and they would be set free. And my husband would still be sick. But then the Lord let me know it's the power that does the healing. Hallelujah. And that power rose my husband up out of that bed. Hallelujah. Come on, give God some praises. Hallelujah. 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 I'm on another plane right now. I'm, I'm Oh, God, I thank you right now. I'm on another altitude right now. I done lifted up from the altitude that I was at. You're on a new altitude right now. You don't even know it, but you was on a plane too. <laughs> Hey, that power, you was in a plane too. Hallelujah, you on board, you on deck. How do you know that, Apostle? I'm glad you asked that question because God said, if you follow me as I follow Christ, Hallelujah! You on that plane? You done took off and don't even know it. You got that same power. Hallelujah! It's taking you and waking you up at night. Hallelujah! That same power. Hallelujah! You're back by. Hallelujah! Tap into the power. Hallelujah! Glory to God. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Is that power? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! No wonder Peter say, "I see very clearly." Hallelujah! He said, I see very clearly. Hallelujah. You ain't got just no power that run dead after you be used for a while. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The power that you have that's backing you, it don't need no source 
other than God. God is the source. God is the source. Jesus is the resource. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He becomes your power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible says, lift up your head, O ye gates, and be ye ever lifted up ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Hallelujah. The king of glory has been knocking at the door. Hallelujah. The Lord been dealing with me with the last last night about opening the uh, heavenly openings, heavenly openings. We're under a portal of a heavenly opening right now. It came by shy. We have access to that portal through that heavenly open. It's open. It's open. Hallelujah. There's open doors. It is open vision. Hallelujah. Tap into that spiritual realm. It came by shy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, we're at that place. Hallelujah. We're in that place, y'all. Hallelujah. Tap into that power. Paul said, I see very clearly. God shows no favoritism. If he did it for me, he can do the same thing for you. If he brought me out off the street, now he didn't just bring me out of the church. Let me help somebody. He brought me up out of the gutter, out of the mire clay. Off of the stroll, y'all ain't saying that to me right there. Brought me up out of drugs, hallelujah, out of line and promiscuity, hallelujah. If he did it for me, ah, I see me in the Bible, y'all. Oh, yeah, y'all might say, what are you talking about? When the woman that was caught in the very act of adultery, I see me in the Bible, Hallelujah. When Jesus began to write in it, I see me in the Bible. And that power of God was able to take Mary. Hallelujah. That, well, that woman, they say. Hallelujah. That was caught in the act of doing very wrong. Hallelujah. Take her and change her. Till when she followed him, she seen him and she washed his feet with her hair. Hallelujah. With the tears and dried them with her hair. That same power I see me. The Bible says, who forgiven much, loveth much. I see me in the Bible. Do you see you in the Bible? Hallelujah. Do you see yourself in there? Did God raise you up and wake you up? Hallelujah. Do you know what you have operating in you? Oh, the sand. Oh, God, I thank you right now, Jesus. That, 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 that ground that God decided to make man out of, that was just dirt. It was dirt until the power went in it. Oh, yeah, that my shot now. When it blew breath into it, the power got it and caused that dirt to rise up. Do you see yourself? Hallelujah. You're backed by the power of God. Belief woke you up. Hallelujah. Faith ignited you. Hallelujah. It caused you to do right. Hadabasha. When you would do wrong. Oh, I thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I'm powered by God. What people used to always say, man, Pastor V, how you keep going? Every time we take on a project, every time we take on a project, we'll be working at the church or whatever. And I would go through shifts. People come in the morning and they start doing what they can do and they stay as long as they can. And they leave in another shift will come in in the afternoon. Uh, I'm, uh, in the evening, I'm still there working and helping them, keeping them moving. And then another shift would come in the evening and do night shift. And they'd be still, I'm still there with them. Hallelujah. My husband sometimes would have to make me go home. Hallelujah. And they wonder how, and then I'm up bright and early the next day. How? Because I'm powered by God. You are powered by God. Understand the power that you got. And listen, when you're powered by something, remember what the, what, the, what the example gave us, the dictionary version. When you're powered by something, that means the thing that you're powered by, you use it in your daily walk. Oh, wow. Y'all ain't saying it to me right now. You use that saying. You advertise it. In oh, my shanda, her glory, you advertise what's powering you. On this. That's why when people get saved under my watch, the first thing I tell them is, make sure you go tell everybody you saved now. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. 
it, it, it's a part of your testimony. Now they watching you and you got to give you be powered by God. Oh my God. Hallelujah. That's all I got. Y'all want to hold y'all because I can go on and on with this one. I'm going to let y'all go with it. Powered by God. Powered by God. Powered by God. I'm powered by God. You are powered. Understand the type of power. Oh my God, Lord. Let me tell y'all one thing. We were doing some electrical work in the house. Hallelujah. And uh, I was trying to get a doorbell to work with the camera. And so the guy plugged it up and was trying to set, it, set the electrical in it. But he was running it off of a light switch that the current was too high for that doorbell. He kept my shot down. Y'all ain't saying it to me. So when he put it in and boom, pow, pow. This ain't no, amen, regular plug-in socket that you plug in when you're powered by God. Oh, my God. You can't plug in something that requires a 220 in a 120 outlet. Oh, y'all, a 110. Thank you, my husband corrected me. 110 outlet. Amen. You got to have the right power. Hallelujah. You can plug in. Oh, my God. You can tap into something and it'll blow the circuit. <laughs> Hallelujah. Understand the power that you're backed by. Understand the power that you're, that, that, that's your source. Understand the type of power that you're connected to. This ain't something that you just go and hook a little, you, you get a ring every now and then. Oh my God. No, this ain't that. The power that's in you is so great. It ain't just another stuff that, that you know that somebody's at the door, but it's to let you know somebody that need, oh God, that's on a flat line. Uh, and God to use you to bring them back. God to use you to pray them back. God to use you to bring them out for the streets. God to use you to bring them out for drugs or alcohol. God, you're backed by some power. All you got to do is tap into it. Turn the switch on. Take flight. Hallelujah. I'm done. Uh, y'all can make comments. Uh, I'll turn it back over to Pastor Wagon. Y'all can make comments with y'all. I'm done, but know that you're powered by God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs>